so how to call constructors in java so first what is constructor constructor and the class name will be same right so this is our constructor so we'll print some value in this this is constructor 0 o r g right this is zero argument constructor and uh, we have another so we can't have two constructors same so this is a zero argument constructor and this is also a zero argument constructor we can't have two zero argument constructors right so this will place it off in ta and uh, we can't have two constructors with same data type so this also in this also it. so this we can change it to char carry a or string string yeah string yes something like that so we can have two different data types for example now this constructor is having something like this now in the a comma int int b we can do it like this now this is possible but we can't have for example this is a int a one data type one argument constructor same int one cannot be used here so we need we can do like this but not like this so this will do it as c and b now how to call now see so this is this is a this is out this is this is s and this is out this is c and b right now how to call constructor when you create an object so you need to be careful here when you create an object only this for example now you create an object like this test t equals to new test right only this will be executed because there is no argument in this simple logic so we didn't pass any arguments here so if we pass any argument in this on this now if you par pass only single argument for example like 10 in this so this constructor will be executed simply you can see this is a will be printed right and uh, now if you want this s should be called simply call this sorium now this is s will be printed something like that now you got the logic right how to call the constructors now how to call the constructors within the constructor for example if you want to execute the, this int constructor just before the test constructor for example if you want to execute this is a before this is zero argument constructor just you need to call with uh, this dot this dot uh, test sorry test test and pass 10 right sorry sorry something is wrong here so so sorry this is not correct actually so you can simply call this dot 10 now when you call this dot 10 directly first this dot a will be printed and then zero argument will be printed so for this you already pass the argument in this so you no need to pass the argument here so when you print this first this dot a will be printed then later this will be printed just check it right so you can't call two constructors in this for example like this this a uh, sorry 10 comma 20 so this this is not acceptable you can't call two constructors here so you need to call this constructor in um, for example here we'll call it in the string so what happens first uh, first this dot c comma b will be executed then later this will be executed okay so when you call here new another thing for example like this and I'm just passing the string value here 
this is t2 right now see when i call this first word will be executed this is our tenement first a and zero argument first second and you called this and this so c will be third and fourth right so this is how it will be executed right so in this way you can call the constructors so thank you guys thank you for watching